I don't know how to start this video. Oof. I don't know how to start this video. <laughs> What's going on, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between? It is I, Nyan Miwe, and I'm here to present you with some greatness. So, hmm. Um, so today's video, I am, if you cannot see by the title, I'm. We'll take a deep dive into uh, Largely Los Angeles. Things have changed, people grow, people change, and um, why not? Because clearly some of the brands that we consider goats aren't shit anymore, so anybody can change at this point at ABH. Hi, if it's the first time here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Darius, also known as Neon, also known as Neon Nimiway, also known as Ultra Instinct Frank Ocean because it's December 21st. Happy Negro Solstice. I make makeup videos, some videos about other things. Can't think of the things at the moment, but if you're interested in watching my videos and getting to know me and the shenanigans, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. Also, if at any point during the video you are enjoying yourself and enjoying me and the content I've created, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up like and support. It means so much. And without further ado, um, my nose is itching. And without further ado, we're going to get into this video of me trying a brand and telling you why I chose to try the brand and all the things about the brand. Branding. So, let's go. It's one of them nights It's one of them nights I feel it It's one of them nights No inhibitions Okay, so mm, Let me zoom in actually So, um, let's talk about I'm gonna like We're gonna try to keep this video cute and concise here Try mm. So if you guys don't know, Larley is Los Angeles is the brand by Larley, obviously. Influencer brand, so you know there's that. If you guys know Lara's aesthetic, it's very much like nude California white woman. Hey, it is what it is. But they've got like a nice handful of stuff. Eyeshadow palettes, highlighters, um, lip products. So the brand is like pretty much like not, f I, w I don't know if full fetish is a word, but well started, if you will. <laughs> The journey to getting to use these products has been an interesting one. Ultimately, Laura has had her share of like, inst scandals, instances on the internet. We are all familiar with a very popular video of hers, including an apology and things. And so yeah, a lot of people, including myself, because at one point I was like, not an avid follower of hers, but I definitely like, saw myself subscribed and following. So I guess an avid, I don't know. There have been a lot of things going on with Laura at one point in time. Laura has said a couple of choice words on the internet in the past. The internet, of course, went on to cancel her, if you will, as they do with most people. But one of the things with me and my approach to situations like this is like, if we're going to cancel someone, quote unquote, at what point do we hold accountability as well? That's kind of the reason why I chose to do this, similar to the way that I approach Lunar Beauty at first because if you guys know I wasn't quote unquote the biggest supporter of Lunar Beauty at one point because of like certain decisions and now I have an excellent working relationship with the brand. Me going to this, I'm not necessarily trying to like you know milk my way into another brand's like team or what have you. I, I do legit want to try the products and I feel as though Laura out of like all of the creators and influencers on Instagram in terms of the beauty space and in terms of like her facing a scandal, she has done the best in terms of like not reinventing herself, but like taking what has said to her seriously and decided to take the feedback and become a better person. Um, I know a lot of people may not be a fan of this decision of mine. A lot of people may not be a fan of the decision to support Laura and that's completely fine. Like I said, with Manny's video, you don't have to agree with my feelings, but they are my feelings to have. So with that being said, we're getting to this. So from Laura Lee Los Angeles, I picked up 
uh, the Nudie Patootie palette. Shit. So from Laura Lee, Los Angeles, I did pick up the Nudie Patootie palette, which was, if I'm not mistaken, the very first palette that the brand launched. And I remember when this palette came out, there was a very interesting color story here. I, along with a lot of people of melanin complexions, felt as though this palette did not read melanin friendly and seen in a person. I still have my reservations. When I review brands like this, I'm not going into it thinking that, oh, every product is going to be great. It's not. Every product is not going to be great. We're, we're just keeping it about 100. But like, there are some shades in here which I am interested in. The metallics in this palette are gorgeous. I will say that I swatched some of them. Um, so Jaybird, All Natural, some of these are really cute. The mattes. I also have the new to the Nudie 2 palette, which is supposed to be like an extension of Nudie Patootie, and I feel as though this palette is the more melanin friendly palette. It runs along the same color scheme of like pinks and soft browns, but there are some deeper, richer colors in this palette. So I'm excited about that. Today's look is going to be very soft, very soft glam. I know the girls are tired of me doing soft glam. Listen, this. Listen, I am trying to be commercial. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why, but I felt like playing with soft glam looks all year long. 2021, I have avant-garde shit planned, so we don't have to worry about that. But for now, um, I have this idea of playing with like a soft pinky plum look. So I'm probably going to end up using Nudie 2 more. But I'm going to try to dip into Nudie 1 as well. All right, to start, I'm going to take the shade Blushing. Blushing is a pink, soft pink. It gives... It's got a little cool vibe to it. It actually has a shift to it. So it's like a satiny matte. So it's got a little bit of like a sparkle to it. Perfectly fine, it's whatever. So I'm gonna take blushing and I'm going to apply that in my crease and use that as a transition. So for the shade, like I said, it's, very so it's a very soft matte or a soft pink, so I don't have an expectation of this shade being extremely pigmented. I am interested to see how this shade would go in terms of packing. Yeah, so so far that shade is cute. I will say it do, it does build up though. It has a nice build up to it. And that shimmering pink or the shimmering metallic that's in it, I don't really see it. So I have no problems there. Can my camera, thank you, Zool. When it comes down to like this cancel culture and this cancellation of influencers and stuff, I have noticed personally, and this is a conversation I've had with a few of my friends and we've noticed it as well, is that when it comes to canceling certain influencers, we tend to be more lenient to those who are males, male presenting, or those who fit on the spectrum of LGBTQIA. Well, I noticed that the internet will hold a magnifying glass to women when it comes to like canceling them. so. Not to say that, you know, cancellation is or isn't warranted. Um, what Laura did at or said absolutely is wrong. I will never tolerate someone who makes a mockery of Black Lives Matter. Point blank, period. That being said, I also feel as though if we don't give people the opportunity to change, how can they change? That's just my personal opinion. I feel as though we tend to be more aggressive on women. We hold a magnifying glass on women when it comes to who we cancel or not cancel, if you will. Prime example. I saw people making fat jokes about Jacqueline Hill, and as much as I am not a fan of Jacqueline Hill, I will never shame a woman's body. I will never shame another person's body, but to shame a woman's body feels gross. If Jacqueline Hill decides to run her business how she pleases, and so be it, I can be critical about that because I'm someone who works in beauty, but I'm never going to be someone who goes and attacks her relationship with her ex, or who she chooses to date now, I will never attack her weight because <laughs> I, that is goofy. Like, why are we in 2020 attacking grown people's weight? Like, it's madness to me how people will just take vicious digs at people like that. And then of course, if women are held under magnifying glass, black women are held under a microscope because the way that people will try or pe the way that people will go and viciously attack black women is <clears throat> when it came down to like the quote unquote cancellation of like Laura Lee, 
of course, I felt some kind of way about it because as a black man living in America, the comments of Black Lives Matter is very frustrating to see. Like, it, it, I never want to be like, oh, okay, so someone doesn't see how serious this issue is of how my life is important. That being said, I, I still think that people, certain people, depending on their actions, need to see how we grow. Also, I'm using the shade Low Cut. Low Cut is like this softer mauve-ish pink. Um, I'm using that in the actual crease. This shade is really cute. It blends out really nice. Overall, the shadows have a really nice blend to it and it's easy to make these shades super soft. Also, also I've been using Laura's brushes. I did, I use the brushes with my complexion, using it on the eyes currently. And these are really nice brushes. I think that what Laura has done since like her quote unquote cancellation has been I don't know if commendable is a word, but it's definitely been a step in the right direction for her. Um, it's obvious that who she started to align with has changed and her behavior as a human being has changed. And you know, what we at least what we see on the internet has changed. So with that in mind, I like to think that there is some growth there. And at least for me, I will continue to watch and see how that growth is going. Of course, when people who get caught in these situations, we need to hold them accountable and the accountability does not stop once they start making a change. That's why I'm so adamant against certain people on this internet who claim that they're not racist, but the evidence of their past shows that they're racist and the evidence of their current actions also shows that they're still racist and pieces of shit in general. So when it comes down to it, I'm willing to be more forgiving and accepting of someone who is at least making a change with their behavior versus someone who continues to use their clout and their privilege and their persona to just be an ignorant person like. So I took the shade Risqué, 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 which is the deeper plum. Really deep plum, really nice rich color, um, and it is very blendable. I don't have a problem with Nudie Volume 2. Like I said, I feel like Nudie Volume 2 is the more melanin friendly palette. And out of the two palettes, I do see myself reaching for this one more. I do want to dip into the Nudie 1 palette, or Nudie Beauty 1, but this palette runs more on the browner side, and my eye look is more pink. So I'm not sure. Oh, wait, I take it back. I do want to use Jailbird. Jaybird, not Jaybird, Jesus Christ. Jaybird is this dual chrome. It's like orange into pink. We're using the shade, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we're using that shade that has to be used on the eye at some point. I'm gonna go back in with eye primer and just like carve out a space of lid. I'm not doing like a cut crease per se, but I just want to make sure there is lid space there for what I'm about to do. I'm going to go into the Nudie Patootie palette. I'm gonna take the shade Jaybird, which is that dual chrome metallic, which is so pretty in me. And I'm going to apply that on the lid. This shade reminds me of something that like Natasha Denona might do. It reminds me of like one of the shades in the Divine Rose 2 palette from Pat McGrath. It's just, it's a really pretty metallic. Okay, so the top of the eye is done. I'm going to move into the bottom lash line. It's going to be pretty much the same. So I'm going to start and take the shade Risky and put that in the outer third of the eye. Did the shade low cut and just run that on the bottom lash line. All right, to finish up the shadow work of this eye, I'm just gonna go into the nudie pad one more time and take the shade Cheeky. And Cheeky is a taupey pink, silverish, goldish, I'm gonna apply it in the inner third of the eye. So there's like some other eye work that I wanna do, but for now I'm done with the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna go finish up the eye work real quick and then we're gonna come back and we'll finish up the lips and the rest of the face. But um, I have feelings on these palettes, so we'll be back. So I am back. The eyes are done except for lashes, but I was in lashes last, so it was fine. I'm gonna move into the highlighters. 
Um, there are two highlighter palettes. We have a glazed lid kit, which consists more of like taupey and pink shades. And then we have the bronze lid kit, which consists more of bronze and gold shades. Um, obviously this look consists a lot of pink. So it would be smart to go with pink shades, but I just want to show these palettes. This gold rush shade right here, I swatch it. Done. So what I'm gonna do is actually dip into the glaze kit and we're gonna take the shade Cinnamon Sugar. Cinnamon Sugar it looks to be of a a brown sugar type of shade. If you hear snores, my sister, she's got her door wide open and snores hella loud, but whatever. And this highlighter is cute. Cute highlight. Like it reminds me of like it kind of reminds me of how Manny's powders or highlighters are. Um, where they just look hella blinding and buttery. So I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do though is I'm going to top it with rose golds from the bronze kit. Just to give it a little bit of a pink flush to it. That is a really pretty hot. Wow, whoa. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up with the lips. I do have one of the liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Cabana. It's like a peachy nude shade. It has a little bit of a sparkle to it. So, let's see how that you know. It has a really nice smell to it. It smells almost like watermelon. I think it's a watermelon. Yes, I I kind of wish I had a more pinky shade to put on, but this is the shade I got from her, or from the brand. So, there's that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna change the lip. I'm gonna change the lip, but I just wanted to show the lip on camera. It is a very soft matte. It is easier to sheer down than most liquid lipsticks. It is very soft in terms of like the feel of it. It doesn't feel like it's drying my lips out, so that's a plus. Um, and like I said, it had that like sparkle in it. But honestly, you can barely tell unless you're like really close up on it. Ultimately, I think the lip product is nice for liquid lipstick. So that is all of the products from Larly Los Angeles that I have. Let me go change this lip color and um, put on lashes and then I'll give my final thoughts and close some remarks. Okay, you guys, we are back with the final look. Um, glad I changed the lip because ultimately the lip wasn't matching this look, but I do like the liquid lipstick. Let's talk about the products first, and then I'll give you like my final thoughts on the brand and where we're going from here. So starting off with the brushes, um, these brushes are really soft. These brushes are really nice quality. It, it feels like a nice luxury brush. Like it feels like it does the job. It's soft. It blended out all of my cream products, my powder products, so I don't have any issues there. So moving into the Nudie Patootie palette and the Nudie 2 palette, um, I do feel as though, like I said, the Nudie 2 palette is more melanin friendly. The shades tend to be richer. There's more shades that would be flattering on someone of my complexion. Um, the Nudie palette, I still feel as though is a very interesting and tricky color story to work with overall because it varies so much from like cool tone grayish browns to like this mustard yellow shade, a uh, apricot shade, some like deeper browns. The colors in this palette are different. They are interesting. I don't feel like they're totally bad. If you guys know me, do you know that shades like these two uh, reveal and undress or shades that I would typically use to like soften up the crease and blend out shades if I see fit. I just think this is a very interesting arrangement of colors that I would have to actually sit on and see if I can work with. Um, there are some deeper shades in this palette. Overall, I still feel as though this palette was made for someone with lighter complexion than me. Not to say that it can't be used with someone like me, but I just feel as though it would work better like that. But the metallics in this palette are gorgeous. Like I told y'all, Jaybird is that girl. Um, just a shade called Ala Natural, which is like a golden, bronzy shade. Love her. I feel like Laura's metallics are strong. 
I just think that when it comes down to like the mats and the arrangement of colors that things could be a bit different. That's the thing that you run into when, you, uh, when you're using products from an influencer brand. The shades are gonna match more so on what that person would want for themselves. For example, Patrick's palette with one size, although it may be boring to some people, it looks like the neutral shades that Patrick is known for. Um, Strawberry Dreams and even Manny's palette with Morphe give that same like natural or like that high glam that uh, Manny is known for and it ventures into some color. Jackie's palette with ABH. Um, it is a deeper, richer palette with purples and pinks. Something that Jackie is known for. So I feel as though these palettes work along with what Laura is known for, which is softer nude eyeshadows. Like I'm not gonna expect Laura to create bright, bold eyeshadows on a daily basis. That's just not who she is. So I feel as though in terms of the brand matching the owner's aesthetic, very good. I still feel as though there are there needs to be some work done on translating that aesthetic to fit a wider range of people. But newer brands typically um have take a while to like build up that aesthetic as a whole. So I'm not mad at that. And like I said, there are other palettes that Laura has out. Like there is a Christmas palette that Laura put out last year, I believe. I think it was last year. It's like a six pan palette, but it is gorgeous. So, and it works, it looks like it would work on different complexions. So ultimately, it's just a matter of like, seeing how the brand will evolve from here on out. Um, the highlighter palettes are insane. As you clearly can see, the glow from these palettes are insane. They feel like butter. I didn't feel as though they were like chunky metallics. They definitely feel as though these palettes reminded me a lot of like old school ABH glow kit formulas before they got into the chunky glitters like this palette looks as if it was like Nicole Guerrero's glow kit but with the old school ABH formula so I am not mad at that whatsoever and this bronze kit golden but these gold shades are insane and like I said the liquid lipstick is fine it didn't fit for this look but I think this is a really nice formula for liquid lipstick it's soft it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack my lips um, there is like a slight like metallic sheen to it, shimmer in it, but you barely see it. So ultimately, um, if all of her other liquid lipsticks are like this, then I have no problems. So when it comes down to the brand as a whole, I feel as though there are some really strong products in the brand. Ultimately, I still feel as though like the brand needs to like find its footing and like I said, translate Laura Lee's aesthetic into an everyday wear that a lot of different people can wear, not just someone who is her complexion. Like, Nudie 2 is a great move in the right direction in terms of a palette that works for a wider range. Keep developing that. That's just how I feel. So ultimately, um, the, brand is, the brand is a nice brand. It fits into a, it definitely has its own demographic. And um, I personally am interested to see how things go from here on out. Like I said, there are some strong products here, so I want to see how this brand moves forward. So like I said, I don't expect everyone to be on the same page. I don't expect everyone to be as forgiven as me. And, you know, things could change in the future. But ultimately, I do see myself continuing to support Laura Lee Los Angeles and trying more products. And who knows what the future holds for my relationship with the brand. But ultimately, I do see this as an opportunity for someone to grow and someone that should be given a second chance. So... Laura, if you're watching, if your team's watching, I'm down to try more products, and um, I hope that you guys have a long and prosperous career. All right, you guys, that's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed yourself, which I hope you did, then go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up, like, and support. It means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well so that you don't miss the next time I upload. We're going to get black as fuck on my channel, so there's going to be one video in particular that y'all definitely need to watch, and so subscribe for that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Also, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media accounts as well. That is Neon MUA on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. Love to have you guys be a part of the Fireflies family and um, join in all my shenanigans and hear me rah rah and watch me and other black people get our superpowers. Power. Also make sure you guys are continuing to support Dust to Dawn and Level Up Collections wherever they are if they are available if they're not you know spread the word anyway 
you know black creators like me black males like me don't get opportunities like this so continue to support all the things and um i would appreciate it so thank you all right you guys thank you so much for watching again i truly appreciate this in this video thank you so much and until next time watch another video actually i'll put up the video of me like reviewing Luna Beauty for the first time so you guys can get an understanding of where I'm coming from with my approach to this so like watch this video too and like learn something maybe we as people can grow and evolve and be better and um why is my camera getting darker on me focus on me please thank you watch another video and I'll see you guys next time